Good morning, Akiba Schechter. I hope you're doing well and you're gearing up for the festival of Pesach, holiday of Passover, as well as Shabbat HaGadol, the Sabbath that precedes, or in this case goes right into the holiday of Passover. I'd like to take a moment and speak about this week's Torah reading, Parshat Sav. A couple of months ago, about literally two months ago, the seventh and eighth grade rabbinics class engaged in a study of what blessing, if any, what bracha, if any, one should recite upon the distribution or the receiving of the first or second COVID vaccine, or perhaps we don't say a blessing until we get to herd immunity. And there were different blessings that may be recited. This week's Torah portion, Parshat Sav, actually comes about and teaches us regarding the practice of Gomel. I'd like to share this idea with you. The Torah in the seventh chapter, the twelfth Pasuk, says, Im al toda yakri venu, vihikriv al zevach toda, chalot matzo belulot bashemen, or ki ke matzo mishuchim bashemen, visolet mor bechet, chalot belulot bashemen. If a person offers it for thanksgiving, a toda offering is a thanksgiving offering, he shall offer together with the sacrifice of the thanksgiving unleavened cakes mixed with oil, unleavened wafers spread with oil, and cakes of choice flour with oil mixed in, well soaked. Ah, an individual brings an offering of thanksgiving, a toda, in response to having been spared from a disaster which produces probably one of the most profound emotions that a person could ever exhibit, that a person could ever know. The Talmud, the Babylonian Talmud in Tractate Brachot, page 54b, identifies the circumstances in which a person should bring this toda, this thanksgiving offering to Hashem. And it says, when one has safely completed a dangerous journey, when one has recovered from an illness, when one has been released from confinement or survived other dangers. Today, in our synagogues around the world, the custom continues in the reciting of the blessing of Gomel offered during the Torah reading service after somebody has and an aliyah. The worshiper who has avoided or survived a misfortune will then go ahead and recite the bracha hagomel. The Talmudic text states that people need srichim to bring a toda, a thanksgiving offering, rather than they are obliged to bring one. That's interesting. People have a need to do this rather than like other mitzvot, we have an obligation to fulfill. Perhaps this is to suggest that the grateful individual brings the thanksgiving offering, the todah, in order to fulfill not only their obligation to God, but also the psychological and emotional need that we have in order to be grateful for our lot in life. This last year, has been a challenging year for all of us. And in each in our own ways, we have brought that toda offering. We have shown gratitude and concern and sensitivity for so many others, particularly here at Akiva Schechter, on a daily basis, our teachers, our staff, and our students, with support of our parents, engage in safe COVID health practices so that everyone can have a positive school and learning environment. As we celebrate Shabbat Sav, Shabbat Hagadol, the Sabbath going into the festival of Pesach, 
the time when we recount our freedom from Egypt, from Yitziat Mitzrayim. Let us pause, take a breath, and have a time to reflect on what this year has been and what our hopes and dreams for the next year will be. Shabbat Shalom, Chag Kasher Vesameach.